So the HP DL380G6, uh, known as the Kerbled server, uh, you may remember, is alive once again. It was having intermittent starting problems, and well, uh, I think it still kind of is, but they're way less frequent uh, than they used to be after changing the BIOS battery. Uh, it likes to say that the ROM is corrupt. Not the ROM settings, but the actual ROM. Um, but anyway, uh, this video is mainly about the fact that uh, when I apply this time here, although it's kind of reverted back to its primal uh, ways, unfortunately. Apparently, if you leave it long enough, it just goes back. Let's see, we're April 18th, I believe. So, and then you go... What time is it? That'll be close enough. Okay, so, all those jobs just expired, I know. Well, they won't be very happy when it actually... Yeah. Um, anyway. So, uh... I hear a lot of people say that it's not possible to activate Windows XP and Windows Server 2003 over the internet, and I clicked on the d wrong darn thing. I'm surprised this thing isn't already yelling at me to activate, because, uh, the uh, grace period has definitely expired, now that I've let it know what time it is. In fact, I don't even know where the darn thing went. There it is. This thing has slight I.O. issues. I'm going to probably replace the board at some point. Um, but yeah. Uh, I probably, actually, I might need to log off before it counts the days again by the looks of things. Uh, but let's see. Uh, let's just activate Windows. Hopefully the server will work long enough for this to be useful. Uh, but once it starts, it doesn't really have issues. So, checking for connectivity. It's important that you have the date and time set reasonably correctly when you're doing this. And also, if it doesn't like to... If it seems like it's not going to connect, um, you can go into Internet Explorer and look at your uh, settings for the... What you may call it. But anyway... Um, this thing is probably going to take a, a bit knowing this server, so uh, we'll come back um, because I have cereal right there. And yes, I am a schmuck who eats cereal at midnight. Oatmeal squares are very good. They're a product I only discovered a couple of months ago, um, but they are very good. So anyway, um, you want to make sure you have all these checked. That's the first thing. Uh, and then um, if you go over here, you will notice that it did actually say that it's unable to establish a connection. I do suspect that that is probably incorrect. I mean, the message number might tell you exactly what it means, but I do suspect that the problem that this and many other people have is the root certificate. So, there is a way to do, um, to update that. I guess it's only two front USB ports, uh, which is pretty standard, but I have to choose between the mouse and the keyboard at the current time. So, if we go to the flash drive... Oh, stop it. I will include a link to this tool in, to, in the description, of course. Um, but, um, I don't know if I can remember where it is. It should be around here somewhere. But basically, it is a root certificate, roots and uh, revoked revoked certificate updater uh, and I do highly suspect that that is why this is not connecting there it is probably repack that as a zip um, so that way it's extractable by just a stock XP or server 2003 install oh this flash drive is slow but not too bad so, uh, basically, uh, I just run the certificate updater here. Honestly, I might just include a link to the binary, because I don't think any of the other stuff is necessary. Yes, we want to update the certificates. And you'll notice that it goes and fetches a certificate. Oh, 
Um, well, several certificates to be exact. And uh, you will eventually see, uh, presuming the camera focuses, apparently zooming in was not a good idea. Anyway, um, I can't press any keys, so we're just going to have to close this. But anyway, I highly suspect that if we click retry at this point, it will succeed. And look at that. It didn't... It's kind of weird how it went from checking connection or whatever it said to basically immediately going to, uh, you successfully activated. And gosh darn, this camera is not having a good day as far as focus goes. Okay. There you go. Thank you. You successfully activated your copy of Windows. And this monitor is pretty much appropriate for use with this server because, uh, this monitor I found at the side of the road, too. Uh, this is the only LCD I've ever seen that has chips in it. These aren't, these aren't just, uh, like paint stains or anything. That It's like actual chips into the LCD. I don't know how one chips an LCD screen without cracking it. Uh, but it has happened here, apparently. So anyway, um, I'll write something more coherent in the description for sure, but... That is basically how you can fix up uh, Windows XP or Windows Super Server 2003 for the activation component to work. Um, and of course, to, do please make sure that you can actually access the internet um, before uh, you write that it's not working. Like, uh, try to load, you know, something, something basic like Google or MSN or you know, before. Um, before trying anything else. Um, but anyway, thank you for watching, and I know I haven't posted much lately, but I've just not really had too much time. In fact, I really ought to get working on schoolwork as it is. Um, but I'll, I'll try to post something more involved uh, soon. So, thank you for watching, and have a good day, or night, or whatever.